Your mom is so ugly, people thought you were the second coming of Christ because there's no way she ever got laid. <laughs> Yo mom is so ugly, she left Helen Keller speechless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one gave me a cramp. <laughs> this is why horoscopes matter. One word, soul <laughs> Love them. Well, that was three. Well, s is the word. Yeah. And they love them. <laughs> Has a girlfriend ever asked you to reach inside her because the tampon's no. gone? I have that happen. If you can invite one celebrity to have a threesome. <laughs> threesome with who? Us. Whoa. Who what? Would you well, that's what? The that's what it says. Dude, us. you want to bang us so bad? No, it's just literally. Okay. Too. Who it would you says... want to have a threesome with with Alyssa and who? No. Do you think this will keep me from a job someday? What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 168 of Dropouts. Zach's been working out for a week and then all of a sudden has all this test. You want to know why I'm working out? Huh? Because I want women to look at me and say, I want that guy to fertilize me. Fertilize my egg. That's I want I want I want that guy to do what he's doing to his body with with a child someday and be dedicated. I want that guy to to, to do to my legs like Oppenheimer did to the atom. And split, split him. <laughs> so that's why I'm working out. That feels like a very uh, also mental health. Okay, there there it is. Okay, I was gonna say that feels like a very uh, not healthy reason. Why? To, like to breed. You, is not healthy? Well, no, I'm just saying like, if that was your only reason was to get girls. Human beings are on this earth for two reasons, to protect the young and to make new ones. Sorry, I'm just doing my civil duty. Huh, Alyssa? Mm -hmm. Why don't you bend it over and bust it open for a real one? Wouldn't that be your natural duty, not your civil duty? I'll duty right on your face if you bring it up one more time, huh? You want a Stanley steamer right on the noggin? Already can't breathe. No. What if you had feces mm -hmm. up your nose? It wouldn't then it's be good. Exactly. You'll be smelling it. Wait, wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hot take from Alyssa. Go ahead. Oh, said, what was gross? I said that is disgusting. What's what's disgusting? Is it the feces right on my right nose? Right in the nose? Yeah, right in the God. nose. God! Ah! She gets it. Who would have thought? I guess you could call her a, a brown noser, huh? <laughs> Hit some intro music, girl. Slit your... <laughs> Slit her what? Slit. Oh, let's make it a little bigger. Zach's... Birthday Patreon promo is here and it ends this week. Do you want an Xbox? Do you want AirPods? Do you want some prizes? Huh? Ends this week. You got to sign up for Patreon while it's only five bucks. And what are we going to get you besides all that? Buddy, we do our drunk episodes on there and we can't put them on YouTube. They're crazy. Check out this clip. No, I'm Jewish. <laughs> I'm also part Jewish. Shut up. <laughs> Smallest to biggest erect. What was the biggest? Eight, Eight inches. inches. Uh, 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 I'm taking like 14. <laughs> you, think you think that's eight inches? Eight inches? Wait, no. You're gonna be pretty you disappointed if I ever get pants at a local pool. <laughs> that's, that's eight that's inches. That's eight inches. Imagine taking that. You're feeling that shit in your guts. <laughs> this is our favorite friend that's been hogtied and kidnapped. Oh, we're getting right into it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Zach, how about a little lube first before you just fucking ram that down our throat? What's up, man? When are you going to start your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Brad, you're watching this. You got what you wanted. <laughs> That's her brother for our audio listeners. Yeah. You look like a psychopath. You're crying <laughs> wearing medieval times. You have one shoe off <laughs> and you're drinking. Do you remember when we drove through the clouds and we were inside? Yeah, you told me that you fucking hated me. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words, Danielle? <laughs> So get in while it's still just five bucks a month. The Patreon is nuts. It's a family over there. If you want a prize, remember this week, sign up baby boys and, and baby girls. You can quit absolutely anytime if you hate it. Don't think you will. DM us on there and be like, I want a, a prize dog and uh, get on the Patreon. If, if you're not on the Patreon, I'm going to choke you uh, out. When are we doing prizes? <laughs> That's what? awesome. That's why I was looking at your Wait. face the whole time. Jared, you don't get any prizes. <laughs> We're giving away Xboxes? Well, you don't get one, man. Are you even subscribed to the Patreon? Well, I'm just saying, no, that's really cool. I didn't know we were going to start giving away prizes. Because we enjoy them as human beings, and we, we keep it very low and affordable. But yet, you have a chance to win something generationally extra extravagant. Yeah. Can we stop <laughs> talking about promotion for two seconds? Okay, yeah. So I want to beat the hell out of you. All right. For what? In a nice way. Is there a nice way to beat the hell out of somebody? No. Oh. I want to talk about something kind of serious. Okay. I, um, I just found out I won't be on this earth. As long as I want to be, I found out some information that uh, 
I'm going to die young. Um, I was back in Kentucky uh, and I was talking to my family and I, I found out on my father's side, um, not one male has lived past 62. Oh. <laughs> not one of them. Is there a reason? My dad's about to be 62, September 14th. Is there a reason that none of them have lived past 62? Uh, just colon cancer and heart failure and heart attacks and cardiac arrest, which is the same thing, uh, cancer. Um, anyway, just wanted to kind of bring some so, so, some light stuff to the podcast that you guys won't be, you guys better enjoy me now because it's that's it for me. Yeah, that's some, that's some super light stuff, Zach. Thank you. Speaking of light. Um, oh, oh <laughs> no, continue, please. Alyssa, have you ever been poor before? Yes. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't care. I just need to segue into my story. And I think that's very self-aware of me to just go and say that. So now you ask me, what's the poorest you've ever felt? Zach, what's the poorest you've ever felt? So when I was living in the two-bedroom apartment, 10 guys, 900 square feet, you weren't there living there yet. We couldn't afford anything, any form of entertainment, no movies. We couldn't even rent a movie at home, even if it was two ninety nine. So this is what we do for fun. Four of us would get together. We go out into the streets of Los Angeles. We'd go and we'd walk down a street until we got to a fork in the road. Can we go left, straight, or right? And then we would rotate who got to choose which direction we went in. So like Jacob would go first. He'd be like, oh, let's go, uh, let's go left. And then we would just like walk left. And we thought this was the peak form of entertainment. We get to the next stop. It'd be my turn. I'm like, all right, are we going to go straight or are we going to go right? And then I would go, I would go right. And you just see what part of LA you would end up in and and then we would we'd pop in a subway, steal some toilet paper because we couldn't <laughs> afford any. And it was just, you know, those were simpler times. And now it's like, now I'm paying women to see their titties. And it's... What? It's a lot. What do you mean you're paying women to see their titties? Oh, well, Alyssa, did the Venmo come through? Nope. <laughs> oh, never mind. I've not started doing that yet. <laughs> kind of got the best of both worlds there. What's the poorest you've ever felt? Right now. <laughs> right now? No. There's no way right now. No. Oh, God. <laughs> um, when I lost my job. I didn't have anything coming in, and my rent was like twenty six. When did you lose your job? My previous job. Oh, why were you fired? Don't lie. No, I think I did really well at that job, but clearly not. <laughs> I think I did, but I just want to point this out: the day I got fired, the last other female in the company also got fired. So. Oh, so you think it was like a oh, it was a woman thing. thing? I think so. Bold every, in this climate. Every other female got let go a few weeks before me, and yeah. I th- think that's what I think it was. Only males were left. Do you want to say your boss's name first and last? <laughs> I'm just going to cut it out. Oh my God. They went under for money laundering. So Money laundering? So the whole thing was a front the, the whole time? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they were getting their money, but. Okay. Sorry that happened. That's okay. I thought of something fun. Okay. You know the yo mama jokes from back in the day? <laughs> oh my God. I think- Take me back to third grade. <laughs> and do what? Hit on the girls there? What? what are you going to do? You have your own brain of a 25 year old. You're going to hit on third, on uh, third graders. Well, I That's was thinking sick, man. Like take me back. You're prepubescent. Also with the mind and body of a third grader, just to like relive those memories, you know, of like childhood adolescence. Hey, Chris, <laughs> hey, Zach here. we got him. Mr. <laughs> Hanson. Uh, yeah, he, no, 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 no. He didn't say he wanted to touch him yet, but he's definitely going to be in the vicinity. Okay. I'll tell him. You have Chris on speed dial jail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. So what, what you want us to, yeah, I think you guys should run through a few and see which one's got the best. Okay. Can we have like five minutes to think three, a few moments later. Okay. You want to go first? Okay. I don't know how good these are going to be because we didn't have that long to come up with them, but uh, <laughs> this first one I love, it's kind of dumb. Yo mom is so dumb. She thought a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> What, wait, what? No, go. What's up, brother? <laughs> Yo, mom. No, I heard so I, dumb. Uh huh. She you thought a woodchuck could chuck wood. Maybe. How does that? Maybe feel? you do have a third grader's mind. Feel free to hit on any of them. Um, I thought that was funny. Yo, mom is so fat. She developed gravity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's cheap joke, but hey, that's funny. She has a lunar pull. <laughs> Yo mama so ugly, Scooby-Doo gave her a monster mask to put on. Yo mama so ugly, her reflection is still social distancing. <laughs> Yo mama so old, her first flag had 13 stars on it. Okay. <laughs> a little historical joke. <laughs> thank you, Good thank one. you. <laughs> Betsy Ross, isn't she the one that did it? Yeah. Yeah. It's whatever. Your mom is so ugly, people thought you were the second coming of Christ because there's no way she ever got laid. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
That one kind of hit to the core. Are you crying? From laughter <laughs> and sadness. <laughs> and, but I'm masking it. Yo mama's so nasty, she makes onions cry. <laughs> okay. Okay. That would destroy an elementary school classroom. Hell yeah. Like he said what? <laughs> He said, what about his grandma, mama? Said, Your mother is so atrociously ugly. She went to go get birth control and the doctor said, now you're good. <laughs> <laughs> now you'll be all right. Hey, Might as well keep some money in your pocket. Trust me on this. <laughs> trust me on this. You are fine. Yo mama's so ugly. She left Helen Keller speechless. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that one gave me a cramp. <laughs> Your mom is so fat, Texas Roadhouse filed a lawsuit against her because they own the copyright for rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yo mama! Which one? Okay, who won the yo mama off? Wait, wait, wait. I got another one. Oh, you one. got another one? Yo mama's so dumb. When she went to the planetarium, she asked where the Samsung Galaxy was. <laughs> <laughs> you proud of that one? Yeah. Yeah. Are you not? No, I am. Come I was on, just, that I one's was just, funny. How many do you have? I only did five. Yo mama's so dumb. She thought Nike had their own Air Force. Okay, that one's good. That one's solid. That one took me actually a second. Yo mama's so old, she came before the chicken and the egg. She comes every time she's with me, so. Okay. <laughs> Yo mama's so hairy, the zoo thought one of their gorillas got out. <laughs> why you Why you laughing? Sorry. We, we, we know your coochie is similar. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what they call it? So Alyssa got pantsed in, what was it? I think it was like eighth grade. I would never say this. They, they called her Bigfoot's clam. <laughs> That's why, that's why she moved schools. Yeah, I would <laughs> too. Why. There's no recovering from that. That's a little disgusting. Who won? I mean, I liked both of them. Wait, can you say what one you thought was just out of this world that you were really excited about? Which it was one definitely was the Galaxy one. It was, it was that one and the Helen Keller. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to Jared just because he had more. Fuck yeah. Wait, what? No, he cheated. You gave him. You gave us a prompt of five. You said, hey, guys, we just need five. So guess what? I listened. Sorry that I'm an overachiever. You're not an overachiever. You are undermining the essence of simplicity. Can I talk about something? There is a reason that sitcoms were a lot funnier back in the day. Can I tell you why? Why? When they could only be about 23 minutes of airtime, 30 minutes, including um, ads, because they had that constraint that only the best jokes make it. I don't care if it's 23 minutes and one second. We're got to cut a, a second somewhere. So we better make sure it counts. You are the Netflix <laughs> of Yo Mama jokes. How Just dare doing you. as much as you want, whatever. Oh, let's, we'll do it for 38 minutes. Cause that, no, get it down to 23 minutes because constraints build something. Excellence. Character. You get it. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not that. And wrong. It is 100% not that. Okay. I'm sorry. You know what? Do you want to? Then re I'll. Do you want to read? Wait. I'll hold concede. on, man. I'll concede. It's not about you. It's about who she picked. Do you oh. want to? Uh, well, when you put it that way, who wins? I'll give it to you. Suck it. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Suck it. He makes a good point. But who had point. the best five? That's well, well, I, that's what the the overall competition was about. Over quantity. Okay, so who had the best five? Who made you laugh? What more? are your five? I had the dream team of Yo Mama jokes. I already chose twice. Well, you chose, chose twice. twice. So yeah. it's a tie. <laughs> Have you ever been ghosted? All the time. Oh, wait, all the time? Like just, well, like just every like, day or well, what's going on? Like when I was, that's kind of like why one of the reasons I stopped with the dating apps is because like you start talking to somebody and then you get your hopes up and then it's like, oh, you want to go here for dinner? You want to go here for drinks or whatever? And then it's just like nothing. Well, no, I was thinking of how wild a concept getting ghosted is. Just because with technology, it's just, all right, yeah, ghosted them. Yeah, I just never spoke to them again. But if we were in the olden times having just a natural face-to-face -face conversation, and it's like a lot of times it'll be like a nice, beautiful, in-depth conversation, and then you get ghosted. Like imagine, so let, let's let's have a conversation, and then this is what it'd be like to ghost someone in real life. How are you today? I'm, I'm doing really, really well. I've, I've had a great week. Um, I, I just started being a teacher. I absolutely love it. Um, and I, and I tried a new pasta recipe. It's, it's delicious. How, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. Well, tell me more. Like, what do you, uh, what do you teach? Oh, hello? Um, what, uh, tell me about your pasta recipe. What kind of pasta is it? It says delivered. You know, they saw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're face to face. I, I know yeah, you but heard. that's the same thing as seeing delivered. It's like, 
I just want to text back, hey, I know you saw this, you absolute a-hole. <laughs> I would prefer to just be like, I'm busy, I can't talk. Like in real life, you'd be like, yeah. I'm a little busy. I can't, I can't gesture you with banter right now. I can't, I can't converse with you right now. I gotta go elsewhere. I gotta go south. If we're north, I gotta go south. And now with technology, at any moment, they're just out of your life forever. Or think about it, not even face to face, right? If you were uh, had had a correspondence with letters that you were mailing back and forth with somebody, and they just stop mailing you back letters, that person's dead. That like I got ghosted once, and then the girl got married afterwards. And oh. it's just yeah, it was just a little wild. How'd that feel? Goods up here. I'm not up here with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I am a uh, considerable elevation down. Like in the basement. Speaking of basements. Segway. Welcome back to Dropouts Debates. This is a segment that we used to do uh, early on in the podcast. Essentially, we're going to be giving two topics. We're going to be given two topics. Cats and dogs. Oh, what a fun rivalry debate. But we don't get to pick what we're debating for or against. So it's like, okay. I'm a dog guy. And what if Alyssa's like, you got to advocate for cats. And I'm like, all right, I got to do that. And we're going to give a compelling argument. And then Alyssa, you are going to decide who wins. You're the judge, jury. You are everything in this life. Executioner. If one of us loses, we die. Zach. Yes. You are for divorced parents. And Jared, you are for parents that are still together. Well, isn't that fitting? Go. <laughs> nope. You got to pick who goes first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Sorry. No worries. Zach, you can go first. Thank you. Divorced parents, was it? Yeah. And I can't, can or cannot cry. You can do anything you'd like. All right. Well, Preferably, that, maybe. That seems a little no unfair. <laughs> okay. So this is what I think. I think having a mother and father or mother and mother in your case or father and father and not your case um, in a home might, might create some, some stability, might, uh, like create family dinners that are a little bit more constructive and lively and you've got two different perspectives and it might be better to, to raise someone with a partner. So you're not shouldering everything on your own. Um, it might, um, it might be nice for a kid to, to be able to bounce off two different personalities when it, when it comes to problems in their life. So, so they feel like if, even if they're shot down with one parent, maybe they have someone else to go to. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'd feel good if one parent was, was good in one category and they could teach their kids some things. And then, and then the, the other parent was. <laughs> so my argument, <laughs> but, but you get two Christmases. So my, but you get two Christmases. So my argument, uh, I would like to Dose. I would like to uh, enter Exhibit A into uh, the evidence for, for the court. I rest my case. Exactly. Uh, I would like to enter Exhibit A uh, into evidence for the court. Um, this is a man of divorced parents, uh, and you can see that he is deeply psychologically, emotionally traumatized, and that is what- I object, Your Honor. Object to what? The truth? You can't object to the truth. Okay, never mind. This is the product of divorced parents. Okay. I'm not a product. I'm not an object. I'm not a woman. That was a figurative uh, use of the word product. Okay. I've seen I, Tanya. You are the result. Nope, never mind. That's a figure skater. <laughs> <laughs> you are the result of divorced parents. And no parent, okay, no matter how good or bad they are, wants their children to be deeply and emotionally traumatized. Okay. But that is without fail. Land the plane. Without fail. Uh, uh, All right. He has oh, no on, point. On, he on, has on, absolutely no, 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 no point. Thank you. I'll take my winnings and I will go spend it on a horse. Let's go to the Kentucky Derby, baby. We got ourselves a pony. I'm fucking blanking. Without fail. Oh, clearly. Uh, uh, Did you know I won the Kentucky Derby once? You raced in the Kentucky Derby? Oh, I bet. And I won. Watch this. How much did you win? $800. Nice. You How much use did it you to put down? 10 Oh, not bad. She, um, she this means nothing. Imagine, <laughs> cut that out. Imagine having, <laughs> why <laughs> the, the IRS is already trying to find you. Obviously I won. He had no point. For sure. Um, no, I was going to say that fair, that's, well, then you should have said it, bud. Wouldn't that, have this, chosen anybody, but this is an absolute what? two Christmases or <laughs> I mean, that's great. Or Kwanzaa's. Yeah. 
I mean, what the fuck was I trying to say? No, I have a word. Don't that ask I was us, brother. No, I'm just saying that this is a, always what you get with divorced parents is somebody, no matter how good they are at hiding it, somebody that's a charismatic six foot th- 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 human, <laughs> a charismatic six foot three human uh, who treats women well, is a great lover, can cook like he's Betty Crocker. <laughs> she goes, mm. you ate my shrimp the other day. Yeah, that was really good. Ugh. Point case closed. <laughs> I'm saying I, you have a lot of uh, close the other, book, baby. Others. We're moving on. Okay. All right. One zero. So Zach, yep. You are going to debate. <laughs> this is unbelievable. That horoscopes are real and relevant. <laughs> and Jared, <laughs> no, that's a hell of a topic for you. She said relevant or Which, real, like you like you love them so much like uh, they actually you, mean have, you take out l's from other places <laughs> that's where the l in drawing came from yeah i know <laughs> was from the re- <laughs> revelant <laughs> leonardo dicaprio got inside a bear for this one <laughs> is that why you said no yes oh, okay so oh, i thought you were just deeply upset at your topic no relevant <laughs> horoscopes are real and relevant and jared they're not Jared, you'll start first. Good, thank goodness. Okay, so horoscopes are based on like the stars and shit and when you're born. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, objection, Your Honor. Can we not swear in the courtroom? <laughs> okay, so, sorry, sorry, Your Honor. Uh, horoscopes are based off of the stars and the planet alignment when you're born and it has to do with like the time that you're born. But the thing is, is like, does none of that actually matters? It's the worst case I've ever heard. I, well, I'm trying to think of like oh, how- clearly. <laughs> You're, you're more of a prep guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me know when you want to rest your case. None of that actually matters because what scientifically matters is your honor, the environment. Can, can he string his uh, words together without two second gaps in between, please? I, well, I'm trying to do it without saying um and like and blah, blah, blah. Okay. What really matters is the environment in which you were raised that determines how you are as a person. The structure of your family home growing up if your family's healthy and happy versus dark and toxic it's going to determine what kind of person you come out to be if your parents are driven people you're more likely to be a driven person you know my mom has cataracts and can't drive if your parents don't put certain qualities into you, you're not going to have them. It has no effect on your birthday or your birthday has no effect on what qualities you have as a human. It's oh. all about how you're raised in your environment. Continue oh, Zach. Right, Zach. What is this podcast brought to you by Casper sleep? <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell. Got a knockout over here. Um, this is why horoscopes matter. One word sluts love them. <laughs> sluts. Well, that was three. Well, sluts. Oh, okay. Is the word. Yeah. And they love them. <laughs> You've been around an LA slut. Many in the first city. question they ask you, what's your sign? And have you ever been wanted? Wait, why am I arguing? <laughs> why am I helping this argument? And have you ever wanted to be inside their pants slit? Uh, sometimes. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Point but, case and hook line sinker. But here's the thing. Here's what? why it doesn't matter. Here's why it doesn't matter. Right, Jared, because Jared. those same sluts ask me, <laughs> what sign am I? And I go, Gemini. And they go, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Okay. They have no idea who I am as a person other than what society has said about Gemini's. That's what I'm going to say. Have you tried to talk to them, but be better looking? <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> it's a joke, but it's, I can already see the comments right now. Look, they're like, they get their, um, is it a quill? They get their quill out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, Zach, you already know Jared battles with some insecurity. That's why he's growing a beard out because he doesn't like his natural baby face. So for you to say that he is not attractive enough to talk to women can only put his <laughs> self-esteem in such a low position <laughs> that he will want to kill himself. Baby girl, what are you thinking? Famous um, male Gemini, Tom Holland, heartthrob. Hey, buddy. Hey. Be Tom Holland. <laughs> Try it out. All right. I'm going to have to go with Jared. Why? <laughs> My I, argument sucks. <laughs> because you kept saying the, sluts. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Horse? Sorry, it is horoscope. <laughs> this is my celebration now. For audio listeners, I just came. <laughs> That's my, that's my celebration now. Uh, okay, last one. So I'm two and oh. No, it's, it's one, one to one. one. You're being so biased right now. Oh, what? Because you're a woman. You don't want me to call girls sluts? Come on. Well, it's one one. So now whoever wins the next one wins. Okay, I'll, I'll concede. Also, I want to put a disclaimer out that I don't think all women are sluts, just <laughs> ones that Jared's talked to. 
Okay. Jesus. Listen up. Do you ever just feel off? You feel like you're not you're not on your game a little bit. Like you, I need something. You know what you probably are dehydrated. Most of us are, and I, I had this issue too. And I recently I've started training my muscles. I don't want to you know show it off right now. But anyway, you know what you need vitamins and minerals. Oh Zach, I don't know how to get them. I don't want to eat rocks. You don't have to eat rocks. All right, you can put it in your drinks, such as water with this little this little tube from Liquid IV. And the best part is it tastes wonderful. It gives you double hydration and gets you feeling right and good. Do you want to perform in, in, in the school classroom? Do you want to perform in, in the work environment? Do you want to perform in the bedroom? I don't know if that's a, a I talking I don't think we point. can say that. But why? Why would that not help? Why would hydration not help with any kind of performance? Anyway, get some liquid IV, dump it in your drink, and sip, sip, sip till you start feeling good, baby girls and babies, boys. You might wonder, Zach, where'd you get all this energy? How about liquid IVs in my system running through my veins? And you'll see the bags are open, so we actually use it. I've got three packs right here. I've got tart green apple. I've got strawberry. And my favorite, the sugar-free grape. How about you tell them a little bit about uh, the contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Why don't you tell them that? Oh, why don't you also tell them uh, with three times electrolytes of all leading sports drinks. Oh, also mention it's made with quality ingredients, non-GMO, free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Why don't you tell them that? Huh? Why don't you look up there and tell them that? This little stick right here has everything that Zach said. I feel great. I drink this every day after my workouts, and I've never felt better. Ever? Ever. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Ever heard of it? Or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code Dropouts at checkout. That is 20% off anything when you shop better hydration today using your promo code Dropouts. That's the name of our podcast. I don't know if you've ever heard that at liquidiv.com. Code Dropouts, 20% off. Use it now to get hydrated because you're missing it. You're missing out on a beautiful life you could be living, a hydrated life you could be living. Thank you, Liquid IV. I like money. Do you like money? I love money. Do you like money? I like money. Do you like football? I love football. Do you love football? I like making money with football. I like football and money. So I use price picks so I can make all the cash. I just wrote that in my mind. A little bit improv, but it's true. I made money with prize picks this week. How about you? Hey, I, I, that was a wonderful song. Thank you. I, I also made money this weekend with prize picks. What player did you make money with? I made money with two players. Okay, name I him. made money with Christian McCaffrey, heard of who him. is the San Francisco running back. Just said I heard of him. And David Montgomery, who's the Detroit running back. Okay. I chose the entry that Christian McCaffrey would get more than 50 rush yards and that David Montgomery would get more than half a rush touchdown. And I made 80 bucks off a $20 entry. That's not bad, kid. You ever heard of money having a 20 and then turning it into 80? Have you percentage ever? profit on that? We don't care because we're not math majors. We're football money makers. To give a little context, Prize Picks is the largest independent owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. Prize Picks is the absolute easiest and best way to play your daily fantasy sports. It's just you and the numbers. It's just you and the numbers, baby. Get out there and get that cash. Go to prizepicks.com slash dropouts and use code dropouts for a first deposit match up to $100. Just go in there and play, buddy. Prizepicks.com slash dropouts. Get that free $100 match. Thank you, Prize Picks. Zach, you are going to debate the middle seat on an airplane should have both armrests. And Jared, you're going to say why everyone should get <laughs> <laughs> not on one armrest. Okay, who goes first? She always forgets this part. You can go first since Jared went first. Middle seat. Some people call it the nucleus of the three-seat plane layout. They hold everything down. Can I restart? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The middle seat, no one wants it. A lot of people will say in their mind, how the hell did I get this? I thought my husband booked it early. I'm so mad I'm going to take it out on him, and I'm going to take the kids. I'm going to take the kids from my husband. Because of the middle gonna, seat? Oh, I reminded him how many times to check in early, and he did it. I'm going to figure out how to buy a gun, and Let's I'm going to- Stay on top I'm going to shoot. Beat the hell out of and his kids won't be able to see him again because I'm so mad. Are you sure you don't want to restart again? <laughs> I'll re can I restart? <laughs> yeah, you can restart. Um, so the aisle, you can go use the potty whenever you want. And then, so it's like advantage. And then the window, you can look out the window or you can lean. You have control of the lighting situation. Advantage. And then the middle person, they're kind of, you know, stuck in between people. They don't really know and they're uncomfortable. They could be a little antsy like you right now. And it's like, okay, how can we ease their minds? How can we make them a little bit more solid in this experience? Give them some support. If you support them physically, 
I think that might support them emotionally. Ow. <laughs> the middle seat is... Sorry, I had to do anything else. Uh, all right. Unlucky things happen in life, right? And one of those unlucky things is getting the middle seat. And But the thing with unlucky events in life, they build character. Your Honor. Okay. What? You look, that you're not your honor, bro. I said, uh, I was saying, I was saying <laughs> what as into why you're honor. interrupting me. You look beautiful today. Don't let that sway your, uh, your honor. He's trying to sway the, the court. Your honor. Objection. You're objectively beautiful. Objection. <laughs> he's flirting with the judge. Objection. How you doing? <laughs> Objection. You're done. What are you doing? You're done. That was your argument. Uh, no. Okay. So unlucky things build character. Um, and it makes people stronger. And so if the middle seat doesn't get both of the armrests, you're really helping develop that person into a better person. What are you doing? Basking in my winnings. <laughs> Alyssa, go ahead and tell me. I'm going to have to go with Zach on Yeah, this of one. course, brother. Well, yeah, everybody wants both armrests on the middle seat. You come up with a good argument as to why they shouldn't get, why they should be a little t- cramped and well, tucked. And OJ like- did it, but his lawyer was able to get him out. So... Have a better argument, buddy. Well, that's a good example. What were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say probably something argue, pretty like, cool. Everybody paid for a you know a seat, so everyone should have a chance to use the armrest or something like that. Would have been a way better argument. Yeah, I agree. I side with her. I also side with so her. So two one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm good. I'm a vegan. God, vegans make me mad. Why is that? First of all, it's actually a lifestyle that helps the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you go on a date with a vegan and like you just realize. You can't share tongue sensory experiences with them. You mean food? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, hey, try this. And they're like, sorry, I I have I love other things than just humans, you selfish P word. I have a question. Please uh, only limit it to half of it. Okay. Um, so if you eat meat and you go on a date with a vegan and then you make out afterwards, that means she's not a vegan. Do you have any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other ones? I know. Oh, you're gonna stick with that one? Yeah. Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> what about you jared what's your hot take on that i would also say that she's still a vegan ah yeah. shall we move on <laughs> no worries Alyssa. that was actually a really good question <laughs> <laughs> we cut her camera off <laughs> just a thought that popped in my mind clearly it just popped in there <laughs> uh, oh i'm such an advocate for bullying fun bullying we're not we're not hurting people well one could argue that that bullying is or like hurting people is like the sanctity of bullying or of hurting people what we got to get you off uh, a podcast we got to get you off here <laughs> understand look at me <laughs> say i'm sorry i no, i am sorry i don't know <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know what's happening what guys. time are we at you ever just hear like complete silence yep. in your head but like in your in your head like normally you have that little voice that's constantly thinking about the next thing or whatever's going on she has she has the thing where she doesn't hear Inter- she doesn't have an internal monologue. There's no way. Isn't that nuts? You don't hear a voice in your head? You know. <laughs> She's the worst liar. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I want to play this game called Let's Get Deep. Baby girl, we've already played it eight times. Oh. The second time was a little weird. Never finished. Um, what do you? Sixth time was fun though. What do you do? I wrote my diary the eight, about the eighth time. I think it's our last. What do you do? Have sex. Game? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Why would you ask I don't know. That? I was just. I, was, I wanted clarification. Thank you. Okay. My name is Zach. Ready? Yes. Give, give me the talk as if you are giving it to our future child. What's up, baby? <laughs> well, this is for Whoa. couples, really. But oh, so, okay, give, interesting. Where'd just, you get those cards? <laughs> In Jared's room. Why were you in Jared's room? That's and what, what are these saying. cards? Did you know what these cards were? <laughs> well, yeah, I bought them, but they were not for this podcast. <laughs> You've yeah. been using them on estrogen people? One estrogen person. Wow. We had like a little wine and uh Did this lead to sex? Night. Yeah, I'm sure it did because there are some questions and they're in the box that are who Okay, so I need to explain. So are Is we are just- we a couple or are we a couple explaining to Jared? How does this go? Either you guys, whatever. It doesn't matter who's the couple, but just explain how you would give the talk to your future child. Easy. Hey. Oh, oh I did not like the start <laughs> hey. of that. Hey, buddy, I wanted to talk to you about something. 
Would you use a remember? less creepy voice. No, it's it's a soothing voice. Also, don't invite them into your room. We're going to have to have a big talk. Okay. Hey, buddy, come here. I want to show you something. Come here. Come here. Here. <laughs> Sit in this chair. How do, how do I call Chris Hansen on this thing? <laughs> none, none of this is okay. None <laughs> of this. You have to cut that. What? Yeah, that's <laughs> awful. I, was, I thought you said what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> That. How were you guys told? <laughs> uh, differently? Very. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Maybe we'll take that one out, huh? That's life. That was rough. Do you think this will keep me from a job someday? Oh, 100%. Sure. We're all just so unemployable now. If you could change how you lost your virginity, would you? I think I would last longer. <laughs> Can I watch? Can you watch me lose my virginity? You'd be watching two 17 year olds have sex. So. Never mind. <laughs> But it was like it was so classic. Like we we were we were hanging out that day. We went and got food, came back to the house, a little Netflix and chill action. Lasted about less than twenty seconds. Yeah. And then yeah, uh, what'd she say after? And then Thank you. It was my first time. It was his first time. <laughs> How long did you last your first time? Exactly. <laughs> and uh it's a lot of pressure for the guy. Okay, get off my back. Okay, so you finish record time. <laughs> and was she like good job or were you like my bad how did it i think i finished and i was like i was like whoo good for me good for you <laughs> nuts wow. was that a were you attempting a joke or were you completely serious i think a little bit of both <laughs> gotcha i would be self you weren't self-conscious well but the thing is in the moment i thought i lasted forever because like that felt like forever uno posiciono oh yeah one position missionary no she was on top was Wild. it her first time too? This makes me no. think that no. she, she kind of brought it up. She did. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Because if it's your first time having sex and like the guys, I, I don't assume you would have been like, you trying to get on this horse? Little yeah. Cow girl? No, she definitely initiated. I think we were watching like American Horror Story or something. Mm. We were just like laying in bed and then. And you're ready. I'm ready for a horror story. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> I wish. That would have been way better. Instead you said, let's do it. No, I think I, I think I went in for a kiss and whoa, but it, it was so awkward because like we were laying in this position that was not easy to like lean over for a kiss in. You're just like, and so yeah, like I had to like readjust, and then I was like, wow, and then uh, and then yeah, she kind of manhandled me. She like rolled. Well, she was a man. <laughs> she wasn't. Um, she he wasn't. She <laughs> rolled like rolled me over and. Uh, Took my pants off and then kind of just went wow. from there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa's face that was disgust. <laughs> wow. You cool. cool. <laughs> That's sick. Um, She's just jealous. How long was your first time? Uh, it's not my question. Well, now it well, is. Now it is. I don't know. I didn't time it. Okay. Okay. So it could have been 15 it. seconds. Yeah. You don't know. Um, you anyway. just, he just said time felt like a, a social construct. If you could How long did you have sex for? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not answering this. Why? Because my mom watches this. Okay. My mom watches it too. My well, aunt watches this. You know? My mom never watches this. What's up, this. Aunt Jackie? Sorry you have to hear more than you ever wanted to know about your nephew. She's single? No. Hell. Do you want to answer or are you going to go on? How I lost my virginity. I was really nervous. Um, I knew it was happening on a Friday. We scheduled it. I didn't eat for two days prior. I was performing doggy style and I passed out on her back and I woke up with um, her family fanning me off. I did. She did reclothe me, but um, almost had to go to the hospital. What was the thought process behind not eating for two days prior? I was nervy. You were so nervous you couldn't eat? I had Chipotle before I had sex for the first time. That's why you that's why you finished in 20 seconds. You were just so satisfied. I was dude, I was full and happy. So mm. would you change anything about that? No, brother. Okay. I was living. You wouldn't even eat so that you had some energy? No. Was it her first time too? No. Not with the things I saw. What what, what does that mean? I'll draw it for you later. Oh, okay. I feel like I know the answer for Jared. If you can invite one celebrity to have a threesome. <laughs> threesome with who? Us. Whoa. Who would what? you choose? Well, that's the what? that's what it says. Do you want to have bang us so bad? No, it's just literally. Okay. Dude, who would says, you want to have a threesome with with Alyssa and who? No, it's with your partner and. Not how you phrase you, it. Okay. 
Who would you? I'm just reading off the card. Okay. Now I'll rephrase it. Who would you want to have a threesome with in your relationship? I'm gonna say, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Who would you do? Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys don't know who that is, he's the guy that keeps like pausing during stuff. I, I got a Twitter update that was like uh, they they had to put out this like retraction. They were like Mitch McConnell did not have a stroke. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> we saw it though, and he did. He should be laying down most of the time. Yeah, he you can't have him stand up. He looks like he's struggling. He, yeah, he's he's done with just work and just ghosting everyone. Yeah, <laughs> you know? dude, that was he was our whole bit exactly before. We just got mitched. You just got McConnelled. <laughs> I'm gonna start telling people that. You just Did you ghost me? No, you got McConnelled. One more. We'll do anything. If you were a crime couple, what would be your thing? That you would be doing crime together. Us? No, just you and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Why? I'd want it to be something fun. Like I would. I like just, using cancer patients as tire swings. Cause that's not fun. I didn't say that. I saw the look in your eyes. That's not at all where I was going. That's not a twinkle. I can read things. I would just want to go on like a like a cross country road trip, but you steal a new car in every state, fifty cars, fifty states, uh, and then in order to get cash, you rob whatever convenience store you have to stop for it at gas, like to get gas. It's an episode of Criminal Minds. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm a TV writer. I would illegally download um, a song with her, and then we would listen to it together under a sunset. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Well, if you do the crime, you do the time. I don't want to do much time. <laughs> <laughs> just I just kind of want to life. I want to go out in like a like a blaze of glory. And I want to continue to live my life not in prison. Well, that's not very fun, is it? No, it sounds a lot better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you heard of prison? Uh, dropouts advice? So the subject for this dropouts debates, I mean, nice <laughs> advice was I pulled out a tampon in front of a teacher. What? what? Excuse me? Says, I know this title is a w little weird. Uh, last year, year 11, I had this teacher who was really strict with the girls only. Um, one day I had my period and a tampon that I needed to change. I told my teacher that I needed to go to the bathroom, um, but he told me that I couldn't until the day was over. Uh, I told him that it was I was on my period and it was an emergency, um, and he said your period could wait. Um, I persisted that it was an emergency and I needed to go because tampons are toxic if you leave them in too long. Uh, and then he said that I needed. They also a, taste worse. <laughs> said I, I needed a letter, um, and then went as far as to say that I could be lying. He said that if I left, he would suspend me for trying to skip. So I got mad and right then and there, I reached into my pants and pulled out my bloody tampon and put it on his desk before marching out of the class. I'm kind of embarrassed about it. He hates me now. What should I do? Keep uh, living, brother. That's hilarious. <laughs> One of the better stories I've ever heard. God, if I was a woman, I'd just throw it at people like a like a deflated balloon turned inside out filled with red happiness. Dude, that sounds like something out of a movie. Yeah, if they're going to deny your rights to change out a, a, a pawn, you gotta dig up in there. A pawn. You gotta dig I've up. Never in heard there. tampon shortened. Listen, man, we got nothing but time. Blood's coming through. I mean, we don't have enough time. Blood's coming out. So you did nothing wrong. Yeah, no, definitely didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I can see why it's a little embarrassing. I would say just like what a power move. Definitely a power move. Just like next time, just say fuck it and like walk out. And then, because the thing is, if he suspends you, you can sue. And then you can get your bag. She left her backpack in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> and he stole it. <laughs> this guy sucks. Are you a pad girl? No. Have you ever, has a girlfriend ever asked you to reach inside her because the tampon's no. gone? I've had that happen. You've had that happen? I didn't do it. Oh, you didn't? I like, she's like, you have to help me. And I felt, I felt really bad because she said, you have long fingers. You can grab it. I can't grab it. And I, I went into the bathroom. Like I, I, I hit a three point stance to get ready to play. <laughs> But man, I could I I could not venture in there. You couldn't even do that for the person you were dating. I do feel bad, but for whatever, yeah, I couldn't. I if I like the, everything was holding me back. They're like, you're not allowed in there. <laughs> you're not allowed in there. <laughs> not during the massacre. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Not during the red wedding. <laughs> You've never gotten it up there, and, and then you couldn't get it out. No. Oh. It'd be weird. Would if you do that? I mean, if if the person, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> If the person that I was dating really truly needed they did. 
<laughs> God, did they? <laughs> I debated getting chopsticks and going in there like I was a uh, oh god, an owner of an Asian fusion restaurant. It just comes out has splinters in there now. Oh dude. come on, dude, they're gonna be metal. Do you know what a diva cup is? Yeah. Oh, I should show you guys pictures of female products and see what you know what they are. Pull them up. Be funny. Oh well, I'm not prepped. Cool. Uh, we'll do it next <laughs> week, huh? There we go. We'll do it next week. And don't even quiz me in the clamps that they use to open up your vagina. I know what those look like, and I have three. But yeah, if, if the person needed me to do it, I think I would do you it. you knuckle down? <laughs> I, I would get in that three-point stance, and I'd go, listen, women, I'd go search. Listen, women, I know I've been slut a lot in this podcast, but I'm an ally. That was all for funnies. You're not that much of an ally? I want to be. <laughs> Boy, do I want to be. Alyssa, come here. You on your period? No. Nope. Never mind. Next week. Um, <laughs> all right. We'll try. Okay. Subscribe to the Patreon and uh, you'll see a video of me fishing out a tampon out of Alyssa. Right, Alyssa? Sure. Uh, oh, I'm okay. Kidding. I was going to say, Dude, I really, hope, I really hope your dad doesn't listen to this podcast. He's I, obviously, it's a joke. No, it's not. This one's not. Um, <laughs> yeah, brother. Anyway, next one. All uh, right. Oh, man. She held feminism in her hand, threw it on a table and said, I'm walking out with my rights. She owns that teacher now. Like he he oh, has Jerry. no power over God, her. Abraham Lincoln's not going to like you for that sentence. <laughs> so this one, my best friend of seven years and I are super close, but I've always respected her boundaries and she doesn't really respect mine. We went on a trip together and I went to sleep before her and found my phone by her side of the bed and had caught her going through my texts. Stuff like this has been happening <laughs> And I don't know if I want to stay friends with her or cut her off because I feel like seven years is too long to just cut somebody off. Uh, It's not Not enough context, but because did you you bring it up? Hey, (laughs) what are you doing? (laughs) Oh, I was going through your phone. Why? To see the information you have in it. Don't? Like, are you a psychopath? Yeah, that's weird. This is an extension of your mind, heart, and every insecurity and your deepest, darkest secrets. This, Yeah. We should get rid of phones. No, uh, 100%. They're terrible for you. Um, if, if someone just invades your privacy, one, doing it in a sneaky way while you're sleeping, they obviously don't care enough about you enough. Like, what are you doing? A lot of these are so simple. Don't be friends with them. Don't be friends with them. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the thing is, everybody equates, like, time to how, uh, how they should handle, like, a, a relationship or friendship or whatever. The thing is, it's like... S- no matter what length of time there's there can always be a reason to cut somebody off or to like not be friends with them or to not date them i think i can think of three reasons right now what are they say i'm dating someone and she kisses i don't know like my nephew like my small little boy nephew no one knows about it she films it puts on the internet out of my life number two i get 10 piece i tell her how hungry i am for the 10 piece all day and she takes she takes eight of them out of my life. Gone. And these these are in order of um, severity. Say she whistles at another guy. Like cat call? Out of there. Remember, order of severity. Worst was last. But either way, the 10 piece was in the middle. It was in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm adopted and living with my parents. Gross. Next. <laughs> my mom and How I are you are- adopted and living with your parents? Oh, thought you didn't have wait, parents, Wait, good huh? point. Hold on. Well, I think she means like her adopted parents. Or- she didn't say that. I, I don't know. You know what assuming does. <laughs> Makes, Makes an ass, ass out of you, you and, and me. me. I like to be in both of yours. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. My mom and I are constantly butting heads and there's no connection between us anymore. I can't leave the house because it would be irresponsible since I'm not financially stable yet and do not have a partner I can stay with. We are getting into multiple screaming matches a day and my younger siblings always hear them. I hate fighting with her and I hate that my younger siblings can hear me and my mom being so mean, but my mom is persistently yelling at me for random things. Sometimes she she will even make stuff up and then continue to scream at me about it. What should I do? How do I approach her? I'm really at a loss. Um, I think you just can't break maturity. I think when you get into the screaming matches, no matter how bad it gets, you've got to keep a level head the entire time. You can't do a low blow towards her. You just got to keep explaining her situation and explaining like this is not going to get you anywhere and how it makes you feel and and, and talk to her about like, hey, I, I want to move out because of this relationship that we're having and I don't want to feel that way. I want to have a good relationship with my mother. Um, I, I, just, I just think being as open and honest as you can and to, to stay as calm as you can. And if it's not reciprocated, there's, there's options. I, I, I think as a human being, no matter what it is, being in a toxic situation, there's always something better. Even if, even if you can't afford it, you've got to speak to friends. You've got to do anything you can to kind of distance yourself from, 
that negativity. So um, obviously I, I don't have all the band-aids for this situation, but um, I do wish you the best. And I know I don't have all the context and it's a lot harder than I just put it, but one foot in front of the other and lead with love, I guess. Wow. Well said. One more. Sure. So this person asked, do you find it as a red flag when a girl primarily has male friends? Um, coming from an outside viewpoint, what's your take? Anytime we go out to the bar or whatnot, guys will assume I'm dating one of them and will literally ask my per- ask permission before even speaking to me. Am I doomed to be single until I go to more tequila Thursdays with my female friends? No, I don't see it as a red flag, but you've got to understand human nature. If you're in a watering hole for potential relationships like bars are for the human species and you walk in with a male counterpart being being a woman the natural response is oh she's with someone and if they're coming up to you and ask you permission that sounds like a a a good guy um in general i I think to obviously help out and combat this is you got to go up to guys you got if somebody you see somebody you're attracted to i think you just got to make the first move that way there's no um discrepancy on on if you're in a relationship or not. But if you feel the most comfortable and most welcoming next to these guy friends, I don't think you should switch switch the gender just because of an external um, thought process of other people. Yeah, I typically like growing up and even now I've always felt more comfortable like with women friends. Um, and uh, I mean, I never had that sort of, who the hell are you calling? Heath called me. Hello. I just looked up your net worth for some reason because I was curious. Uh huh. It says seven to eight million. Who? You. Me? <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck is this money that you're hiding? <laughs> Sorry. I knew he was rich. <laughs> Sorry. That's why whenever he goes, oh, Jared's so rich, he's projecting. Yep. Dude's a millionaire. Seven to eight. A multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? I'm so excited for college football tomorrow. What? I can't tell you how much I love college football. Buy me a new car. I don't have seven or eight million dollars, buddy. <laughs> but you know what I do what have? The internet says, and everything on the internet is I'm true. I'm hungry as hell. You guys hungry? Should we go get food? Yeah. Should we go to Barney's? We can. Yeah, Barney's beer. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Remember, Zach's Patreon celebration excursion super special Patreon deal where you can win an Xbox, uh, you know, some uh, AirPods, some gift cards. Sign up before it ends. At the end, sign up while it's still only five bucks before we switch it to an astronomical number that you'll never be able to afford. Um, and you'll get drunk episodes, which are way funnier than anything we put on here. Um, but we can't put it on YouTube. So guess what? Sign up to the Patreon. And if you don't, break your nose. You also get the cameras rolling for about 15 to 30 minutes after the episode. It's like a little mini bonus episode every week. You get the episodes early. And ad free. You get to DM us and we will respond, obviously, because we're in such nice people, mostly me. We also put in like even more bonus content that's not listed on. We uh, do a live QA. Oh, we, we just posted a vlog. We, yeah, we just posted our. You get New merch York early. Vlog. You get merch early. What more do you want, brother? Huh? Jared, what more do you want? I don't know. Oh, there's, so you're there's, good. That's yeah, enough? That, that sounds great good. for five bucks. Good, good, good. Hell yeah. All right, guys, uh, if you stay to the end, make sure to leave a comment um, about why you think Jared is sad and how he can fix it. All right, guys, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. (laughs) And then just hits the intro music. Let's go get some food, huh? That's what you need. You need salt.